got into you breaking up with Paul Zimmerman the last week of school. He hasn't cried this hard since he saw the English patient. Well, it's the last week of school, and there's something I've been meaning to tell you. You know this whole gay thing? It's been a facade. I'm actually straight. You're kidding. Why, Barry, why? I was never very good at sports, which made me unpopular. Pretending to be gay seemed like the only way I could have friends. Plus, I got to hang out with all the... Pretty girls. But, but why gay, Barry? You could have been a nerd or a stoner or an irritable loner. There's so many other options available to a social misfit. No, gay seemed the natural choice. I love musicals. I enjoy reading poetry. I run and throw like a girl. And I've been... And I've been shaving my legs since I was six. Hey. Wait a minute. I am gay! Oh. Paul! Paul, Daddy's home! Oh. Don't you just love a happy ending? <laughs> well, today's a big game. Bunch of college scouts coming to see me do my thing. Got the highest on-base percentage in the league. Yep, no one in the history of high school baseball has been hit by more pitches than me. Isn't all of this getting hit by pitches hurt? Of course it hurts. Otherwise, everybody would be doing it. <laughs> Doctors are actually surprised I don't have permanent brain damage. <laughs> by the way, who are you people? I'm your sister. I think I have a letter for you. Two vaguely familiar old people gave it to me and told me to give it to you. You mean mom and dad? Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, they didn't seem to love me or anything. Yeah, that's them. Give it to me. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, God, yes! <gasps> that's not bad, but um, guys like it if you can yell their name in there somewhere. <laughs> Amber, this is not a man. I was just accepted to Harvard. <laughs> Who could I hurt the most with this news? <laughs> Where are you going to college? Stanford. Ah, yes, Stanford. A decent little West Coast school. By the way, I'm going to Harvard. Damn it, damn it, damn it! Ah, <laughs> oh, there, there, there. There, there. I know how to make you relax. Um, I'm gonna sing you a song. It always worked for me when I was little. Okay, ready? <laughs> Hush, little baby, don't you cry. Papa's gonna buy you a pizza pie. Uh, can somebody take this? Mr. Monteleone, you preening a sexual B-minus giving power mongering rum soaked excuse for an English teacher. <laughs> Suck on this. I'm going to Harvard. Ah, oh, how wonderful. The most elite school in this nation. Yeah. Thanks to my teaching, you'll be woefully unprepared. <laughs> I'm sure you'll fail completely there. Aside from which, Harvard costs $28,000 a year. Your father couldn't make that much money in a lifetime. <laughs> See you at Burger King, Miss Malloy. I can't wait to make you hold the pickles. <laughs> <laughs>
Give me a kiss. Give me a buck. <laughs> this is not a job. Not for you. <laughs> Mom? Dad? Great news. I caught a pitch in the head. That didn't shake loose any strange memories from your childhood, did it, honey? Because, you know, I don't remember standing over your crib yelling, you've ruined my life, change your own diapers, you little moron. Ah, mommy love, mommy love, everybody loves Ryan. La, 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 la. Son, son, push it into the darkness. <laughs> so tell us, son, why did you choose to take a ball into the head? Well, I mean, I was already bent over from the 20 shots I took in the crotch. <laughs> college scouts were so impressed, I got a scholarship to Northridge Junior College. Hey. Ooh. Now you'll be one up on all those other fellas waiting outside the paint store for day work. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, honey, were you okay? Yeah. The doctor said it was just a serious concussion. <laughs> Why don't you run upstairs and take a nice long nap? <laughs> I'm sure it'll be good for you. Okay. I certainly am sleepy. He always was a good sleeper, God bless him. Even as a baby. Well, my gin-soaked breast milk didn't hurt any. <laughs> Mom, Dad. How odd to see you both here during the day. Great news, I just got accepted to Harvard, and all it's gonna cost for the first year is $28,000. Woo, that is gonna be one heck of a summer job, huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna get a job, I'm not an orphan. You do have the money, don't you, Daddy? Of course. Of course. <laughs> oh, I love you, Daddy. Oh, and Mommy. Mommy, I love Daddy. <laughs> I love Daddy. I love Daddy. Yeah, well, I'd love you, too, if I thought you had $28,000. <laughs> well, just because I don't have the money in the bank doesn't mean I don't have a plan. And it's just about ready to all come together right about now. And today's Super Lotto numbers are... Seven... Damn! <laughs> So this is junior college. Can't you just smell the tradition? No, that's just der Wiener schnitzel down the block. <laughs> All right, well, I'm off to meet the coach. Wait till he sees my swollen crotch. <laughs> All right, that's it for the day. Now go off in the world, my students, and attain your ideals. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Do you teach outdoors because you feel it's conducive to free your learning? No, this is a junior college, and I'm lucky. Most professors don't even get a rock. <laughs> Are you a new student here? No. No, I'm going to Harvard next oh, fall. Harvard, yes, Harvard. Well, it's a wonderful school if you want to be a sitcom writer. <laughs> they go to school? Ah, Harvard. An old institution living on its name. Oh, you mean like CBS? Exactly. You know, I could have taught at Harvard, but I prefer to work one-on-one -on -one with my students. It's not where you teach, it's that you teach and the dignity that goes with it. Your paycheck, Professor. Oh. Acha. <laughs> oh, look at that. An extra 10 cents. Well, I guess I'll be supersizing tonight. You must really love what you do. I've always dreamt of having a teacher so passionate about teaching that his own life and comforts are secondary. Life is about passion, about ideas. Much have I traveled in the realms of gold. And many goodly states and kingdoms seen. Keats! Keats. John Keats! He's one bad mother. Shut your mouth! I'm just talking about Keats! <laughs> What are you doing, Floppy? I'm on spring break with MTV super vixen Jenny McCarthy.
McCarthy. Yeah. Listen to her, Jack. I think she has star quality. <laughs> her crazy contorted faces crack me up. I'll tell you, she's a Kato Kalen with breasts. <laughs> okay, Jack. I see you standing there, shifting uncomfortably, waiting to get on with the story. So, did you find a way to get the money for Tiffany's tuition? Yep. I got it from a loan shark. <laughs> Take a gander at this. <laughs> what an idiot. Doesn't he know I'll never be able to pay this back? No wonder he had his office in the back of some cement factory. Jeff, don't you know if you don't pay back a loan shark, uh, they'll kill you. Yeah, I know. But let's face it, this ain't exactly living. Um, Jack, what happens to me when you die? Well, I, uh, I kind of figured you'd be coming with me. Whoa, 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 whoa! I wasn't good enough to take the Star Wars, but now you can't rot in hell without me? Well, here's an alternative thought, Jack. Since you're dying anyway, just break into Drew Barrymore's house and leave me on the bed. She'll come in, get into her little nighty, and so will I, Jack. Be cold hard and dead. Yeah, God, my best. I'll be on Drew's breast. You'll be kissing Drew and I'll be turning blue. Cause <laughs> I'll be dead and gone. So pack your things. I'll get my angel wings. I'll be on Drew's lap. And I'll be maggot sap. Cause <laughs> I'll be dead and gone. Hello, Grim Reaper. Yeah. I'll be dead and gone. Your name will be Tiffany, and you'll be our popular friend. So remember, I'm gay. And I'm a tramp. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm having a crisis here. I may not go to Harvard. I might stay here with you. Oh, we won't be needing your services any longer. <laughs> Ryan, what's wrong? Wrong? Nothing. Took 10 fastballs in the temple and I'm on the college team. Yeah. Except for the fact that I can't see colors anymore and you sound like you're a thousand miles away. Life's rosy. In a gray, kind of blurry way. Here, <clears throat> watch my fingers. Thanks. I was beginning to think that it was dangerous getting hit in the head with a baseball. Please, pull yourself together here. I have a problem. Harvard has been my dream since I was two, but now I'm thinking maybe I should stay here and study with Professor Alfred. Thanks. I was beginning to think it was dangerous getting hit in the head with a baseball. <laughs> Did I help any? No. It doesn't matter. I knew I wanted to go to Northridge all along, and I just needed somebody who wasn't capable of talking me out of it. Thanks. <laughs> Who wants to sign my yearbook, hmm? I already wrote out to Sable, the smartest, prettiest, most popular girl in school. God blessed us by creating you. <laughs> All you have to do is sign your names. Who wants to be first, tramp or gay guy, hmm? You can fool the others, but you can't fool me. Come on, admit it. You can't stand the thought of being away from me. Tongue me, baby, Northridge style. <laughs> Are we 
dead and gone. <laughs> hey, Dad, how was work? <laughs> <laughs> Come on over here, guys. There's a couple of real important things I got to tell you, just in case, well, you know, I'm not around when you grow up. We'd be lost without you, Dad. <laughs> oh, Ross, my boy. How old are you now, son? 18, 19? 10, Dad. Wow. Time sure slows down when you're horribly depressed. <laughs> Anyhow, son, never marry. Never let anyone pass you on the freeway. Remember, you're king of the road. <laughs> if you get in a fight, remember, even a midget can get in a lucky shot. <laughs> never ask a woman how it was, because they might tell you. <laughs> Ryan, never look left or right at a urine. Always be your own boss, and if you can't, be a mercenary and kill for money. <laughs> well, fellas, that's about it. Sum total of all my knowledge. Well, what about pleasing a woman? Pleasing a woman? What about flapping your arms and flying around the room? <laughs> Accept it. It can't be done. You're just going to look foolish trying. Do you have any advice for me, Daddy? Well, sweetheart, you're a girl, so I have not a clue. <laughs> Just remember, when you're at Harvard, that it was Daddy who came up with the money, so you should always love him better. Yeah. You see, that's the thing, Dad. I don't think I'm gonna go to Harvard. Oh. Well, then, uh, I guess I really didn't need to go to a loan shark after all, huh? <laughs> guess the joke's on me. <laughs> well, now all I have to do is figure out a way to pay back $12,000 in interest or become a pork substitute in some Italian sausage. <laughs> I know you can do it, because you're special, and you're my daddy. Not just any careless, drunk, horny guy can be a daddy. That'll make a nice eulogy, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Professor, Professor Alfred. Great news. I told Harvard that I'm not coming. My friends all think I'm crazy, and, well, maybe I am. But I told them all how wonderful you are and what an honor it'll be to study with a man like you. Well, I have some good news, too. Yeah. I've been accepted for a teaching position at Harvard. <laughs> oh, think of it, Tiffany, Harvard. My Harvard? No, dear, you're not going. <laughs> not Harvard. I'm going to make contacts there that will last me my whole life. I've already specked a Simpsons. <laughs> good luck, Professor Alfred. You'll need it. Because I'll do great here, and I'll transfer to Harvard, and I'll hunt you down and rip out your spine, just like a ham. Oh, hello, Miss Malloy. I heard you turned down Harvard for this dump, and everyone but I thought Ryan was the stupid one in the family. Ah, hello, you aging fuss budget of a persnickety neutered old goat. Here. This is a place of learning. Not anymore. I've taken over for Professor Alfred. Oh, by the way, Miss Malloy, I shall be supplementing my income with a summer job at the bowling alley, fungiciding the shoes and changing the occasional urinal cake. <laughs> so I shall be in a particularly foul mood next semester. I think I shall take it out on you. <laughs> not happening to me. This is not my life. This is not my life. This is the life of the tramp or the gay guy, not me. <laughs> so, Tiffany, you gave up Harvard for this. There's got to be something special about this place, and I want to know what it is. No, really, it's nothing, I swear. Now I know something's up. I'm tearing up this check for Stanford and enrolling here right now. No, please don't do that. <laughs> well, the only thing better than succeeding is watching people you know fail. <laughs> Sweet revenge, Northridge style. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! Faster, Thelma, faster! <laughs> How about that Mr. Floppy system for roulette? Huh? We were up 
thousand dollars. I guess the smart move would have been to quit. I was waiting for my free drink. How was your $128,000 scotch and soda? It was great. I still don't know how they can afford to just give them away for free. What do we do now, Floppy? Well, for starters, we'll go to a truck stop and do our organ grinder and his monkey routine. Oh, I'm not gonna be the monkey again this time. Can you play the accordion, Jack? No. All right, fine, I'll be the monkey again, but just don't put the choke collar on so tight. Well, then don't bite the kids. So, uh, how long do you think it's gonna take the guy at the car lot to figure out that this is more than just a test drive? Hey, I've got the mafia after me. I'm really gonna worry about some guy selling a viper. <laughs> uh, the one thing I do kind of feel bad about, though, is that I wish I could have done something for Tiffany. Oh, lighten up, Jack. Look, I'm Cookie Monster. Cookie! <laughs> <laughs> Dear Mr. Floppy, I'd really like to buy a floppy doll. Where do I get for my $29.95? Chrissy D, Louisville, Kentucky. Dear Chrissy, it depends on what you look like. If you're a fat chick, you get this. If you're Drew Barrymore, you get this. And this. <laughs> If you're Sybil Shepherd, see the fat chick rule. <laughs> see you in bed, girls. <laughs>